good morning students today in class 4 we are learning now journal entries and our revaluation account question number 10 open your textbook page number 139 we are doing that particular example let us see rajesh pushpa and pratibha are the partners of the partnership firm their profit sharing ratio that is old ratio 2 is to 3 is 3 3 is to 1 their firm balance sheet given on 31st march 17 is as under so you open your textbook and see the question see the additional informations are mentioned here as the above date the balance sheet partners decided to change their profit sharing ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 so this going to be the new ratio on this day they decided to revaluate underline revaluate asset and liability for which the information is as under so as per the adjustment mentioned we have to write the journal entry they have asked see the last line from the above information write journal entries in the books of partnership form and also prepare revaluation account so two things are asked one the journal another is the revaluation account let us start how the journal to be written number 1 the value of land is to be increased up to 2 lakh 50 thousand rupees you see what is the value of that land is mentioned here the land 1 lakh 80 thousand and they are increasing up to 2 lakh 50 thousand so that difference of land is increased by 70000 land value increase land is an asset so asset to be debited more by 70000 building value increase by 50000 so 3 lakh is the value of building is mentioned they are increasing more by 50000 so building also an asset increase by 50000 now because of land and building value increase you have benefited so that that gain or benefit to be credited to revaluation account the total of these two that comes 1 lakh 20000 so your first adjustment is over the value of machine is to be decreased up to 80000 now see what value is given value is 1 lakh 20000 and they have decrease up to 80000 so 1 lakh 20000 minus 80000 you will get the difference 40000 here the asset value decreases so when the asset is having debit balance to decrease you have to asset credit so we are crediting our machine account by 40000 the value of investment is to be reduced 30% so 30% see the value of investment 40000 the 30% of 40000 comes to 12000 so that these two figure they are reducing our asset so it is one kind of a loss to us so revaluation account is our profit and loss adjustment account so loss to be debited to that account revaluation account debit by the total figure 52000 to machine account to investment account now here we are not writing being in exam if it is specifically mentioned that do not write narration then no need to write narration and if it is not mentioned in a very brief manner you have to mention the narration what narration will come of this that being revaluation account debited due to decrease in value of assets in the first your narration will be being revaluation account credited due to increase in the value of asset so now at this because in 11th you have learned how to write narration you can manage narration on your own now see the third fourth adjustment that provision of the bad debt reserve 20% and discount reserve 5% is to be maintained on data see the value of data given 50000 so 20% of that 50000 comes to your 10000 and after subtracting that 10000 50 minus 10 is equal to 40 of that you have to find 5% so 
So forty thousand five percent is equal to two thousand. In class eleven, we have learned this that you have to decrease the figure and on the new closing balance of data, the discount reserve on data to be calculated. So same logic applied here. As you have done the provision, your profit decrease, your loss has incurred. So revaluation to be debited. And the narration is being provision for debit reserve and discount reserve on data created. Now the next fifth adjustment: the stock value rupees fifteen thousand is to be reduced by twenty percent. Fifteen thousand twenty percent. Comes to three thousand. Again, it is a reduction of the value. So, asset to be credited, revaluation to be debited. So, revaluation account debit to closing stock account credit by three thousand rupees. Then you have the amount of twenty thousand is not to be paid to creditor. It is one gain. Creditor are not to be paid. Such a good thing for the business. So. It become a gain for us revaluation to be credited. So creditors account debit. You are reducing your liability. Reduction of liability means you have to debit that liability. Creditor account debit to revaluation account credit. That is rupees twenty thousand. Then you have adjustment number six. An amount of rupees twenty thousand is to be paid to creditors. Uh, that is what done not to be paid to creditors next number 7 3000 for outstanding expense outstanding expense become our liability liability to be credited it is a loss for you so revaluation debit to outstanding expense credit 3000 and rupees 2000 for the income receivable are not recorded so let us record whatever is unrecorded item when you are changing your profit and loss you have to consider those items so here outstanding income is your asset it's a gain for you it's your asset so to be debited and revaluation to be credited by 2000 now with all this journal entry you remember last year we have learned the ledger posting in the ledger journal and based on that the ledger we are preparing now our revaluation account this account is also known as profit and loss adjustment account so let us do the ledger posting see what revaluation effect is given here revaluation is credited so go to the credit side of revaluation account see credit side means profit or a gain or a rise in the value of your asset so the first land value increase by 70 then your building value increase by 50 so these two are the gain so it has come on credit side in the second journal revaluation you have debited debited means either it is a loss for you or there is a reduction in the value of your asset so here revaluation debit why debited to machine and to investment 40000 and 12000 in the third journal we are creating reserve so with that also your revaluation it's a loss to you to be debited so bad debt reserve and discount reserve on data so this two effect we have given in the fourth journal revaluation account debit so debit why because of closing stock the value of closing stock has decreased so debited in next journal entry that is fifth creditors are not to be paid so creditors to revaluation so it's a gain for you so go to the credit side revaluation account to be credited by because that creditor not to be paid 20000 then the next journal entry that outstanding expense a liability become a loss for you so revaluation is debited so go to the debit side of revaluation to outstanding expense 3000 in the next outstanding income it's a benefit for you so outstanding income will be recorded on the profit side the gain side credit side of revaluation with 
rupees. Now, when you have done the posting of all, what is the first step? You have to close the account, revaluation account. Higher side total fund. Just see at a glance, you come to know that it seems your credit side total is more. So 70 plus 50 plus 20 plus 2, it comes 142,000. Write the same, 142,000 on the debit side. Now this total of credit side minus the total of this debit side, all this item to be subtracted. You come with one difference, that difference figure is 72,000. So for balancing, you remember in class 11 when we have learned the ledger and cash book, we have learned the balancing. So which steps are there? Step number one, higher side total first. Step number two, put it on the other side. Step number three, minus the other side, whatever total is available to you, figures are available to you. You will come with the one figure that is the difference. Now, when the difference comes on the debit side, that become your profit. That become profit which is to be transferred to partner's capital account. This is known as a revaluation profit. Now, how you will distribute among the old partner old ratio? The ratio is given in the first line of your question that their old ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 1. So 72,000 multiplied with 2 divided by 6, you come with the largest portion is 24,000. Okay? In the same manner of Pushpa, that 72,000 multiplied with 3 divided by 6, you will get 36,000 rupees. And in the same way of that Pratiba, 72,000 into one portion divided by 6, you will get 12,000. Now, this is what the profit to the partners. It means their capital going to increase. So, revaluation account debit to partners capital account credit. So, your last journal entry is revaluation account debit to partners capital account credit. So, this way all the journal entries of revaluation we have derived. So, this journal entry you can prepare, write, leave the line for the journal pr uh, proportion. Leave the line, complete your revaluation and then write the last journal entry as you derive the figure accordingly journal can be drawn. Is that clear? So in this manner, what today we have learned? Number one, journal entries for revaluation account. Number two, how to prepare the revaluation account which is also known as profit and loss adjustment account. Remember this for your MCQ. And number three, that when any probable losses are there and when there is a decrease in the value of an asset and the expense, we write on the debit side of revaluation account. When you have probable profits and increase in the value of an asset, that what we write on the credit side. The difference if comes on the debit side, that is known as a profit. If in any other example, difference comes on the debt credit side that called as a revaluation loss and the profit or loss ultimately transfer to capital account. Okay, so in this way the preparation to be done. Now your homework for the day that illustration 7 page number 120 and illustration 8 page number 122 you have to do. Now tomorrow we will be doing revaluation along with balance sheet. Journal entries we have learned today. So in tomorrow portion revaluation along with balance sheet that example we will be doing. Have a nice day.